Roswell's high, Roswell High's dance team has a long history of champions. Their latest run at state brought home their 14th win. News 13's Madison Connor introduced us to the woman behind it all. And now performing the Roswell Charlie. I danced when I was a little girl. And For nearly 23 years now, Kim Castro has been at the helm of the Charlie's Angels dance team in Roswell. I'm from Roswell. Okay. I, I uh, actually went to school at Roswell High School, graduated in, in 1984. Back then, Roswell didn't have a dance team, so she changed that. It was kind of something my oldest daughter, she's 37 years old, but it was something that she really, really wanted. So um, I started the dance team. And Her daughter has long since graduated. But something keeps Castro coming back year after year. It was just something that I wanted to bring to Roswell High and um, never did I anticipate that it would become as successful as it is. But With Castro leading the team, they've won more than a dozen titles. Their most recent win just a few weeks ago marks number 14. We've won 14 state titles and three national titles. Through hard work and dedication. Our kids are very dedicated when they come to our program. They kind of know what is expected of them. And the years of success makes for a strong foundation for new additions. It's a program that people want to be a part of, and they'll they'll go the extra mile to, to um, contribute their part to the program. Always setting goals for herself and the team. You know, I told the girls the first year, if we could even place in the top three, that would be an incredible uh, an incredible accomplishment. And they did, placing third at state. From there, the sky was the limit. Okay, now we know we can get first. Once we got first, it was kind of a scary place to be because, you know, where do you go from there? But they've grown and adapted with the sport to try to stay on top, and her time as head coach is far from over. I think I'll know when I'm ready to to be done, but I don't feel it right now, which is pretty neat. Madison Connor, KRQE News 13. Castro says she only has one student graduating this year, so she's looking forward to getting the team back together this summer to get ready for another year.